when you think of an inventory system, you probably think of this, or this, or maybe this. But this is a lie. Under the hood, inventory systems are essentially just like a list of items. The entire system can be broken down into three basic components. The item list, the item slot, and the item. In programming, lists can be stored in two different ways, either a dictionary or an array. An array is a list that grows as you append or add items to it, and you gain access to its contents by inputting the position of your chosen object. For most games, they'll store all your inventory data in an array. But what data are they actually storing? The items, right? Well, not really. The array is made up of item slots. Each slot is its own object with its own variable to keep track of how many items are in the slot, what item type is in the slot, and how many items can be stored in that slot total. If your inventory is just an array of code, how does that store items? Well, that goes down to how items in games work. When you find an item in game, it's basically just a physical object in the game that represents a set of data, like the item's name, its description, armor rating, weapon damage, or healing properties. Think of each physical item object as a blank template, only made to look like the item data it represents. When you press E on it or walk into it to pick it up, the computer gathers a copy of that item's data and runs a check with it. First, we look at every inventory slot in our array to see if any of them match the item data for the item we're trying to pick up. If we already have that item in our inventory and the slot it occupies is not at its limit, we'll just add one to that slot's item count. If that slot is full or we don't already have that item, we just add the item to the next empty slot and set its count to 1. Then we just delete the physical object from the game world. Now if our inventory is completely full and we don't have any more space for the item, we just ignore the input to pick up the item. Removing items is even easier. In our inventory when we click to remove the item, we get a reference to that item's data. Then when we create a new instance of our item template, that physical object in the world, we set all of its data to match our dropped item. Back in the inventory, we subtract one from that item slot's count, or if that was the last item in the slot, we just clear all of its data and set it to empty. In all, inventories might seem scary to new devs, I am by no means any exception to this, but when broken down into its core pieces, it's actually pretty simple. I hope this gave you a better understanding as to how inventories in games work, if you're a game dev or just a gamer who's interested. If you want to know more about how games work or how games are made, go ahead and check out the rest of my channel where I post tutorials for making games of your own. I also plan on posting devlogs soon for a source style FPS that I'm working on, and I can't wait for you all to see it, so don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye.